Welcome to my documentary. I'm sipping dairy while getting fit cherries. Last name is right, but please don't mistake me with Barry. All my wishes coming true, like I had some fairies. No need to worry, I'm dream worthy, wear that shot like curry. My future is so clear, but my vision kinda blurry. I'm in a hurry to get to money like Eddie Murphy. I'ma keep rapping until they retire my jersey. I do it for the fun, and I do it for the glory. This is Chino's world, let me take you on a journey. It all started in 98 on my birthday. Let me restate that I'm happy like Pharrell. I'm Pharrell. This is my movie, but where are all of the on camera? But I'm still acting goofy like Scooby. So we understand that before all the fame, you actually worked with Chino. How was it like then? Oh, it's awesome. He is just a very creative person, and he brings a lot of energy to rapping. That's all you can ask for, so it's awesome. Um, I mean, it was kind of simple. It was kind of simple how it happened because um, we would, like, be freestyling. Because in the old classroom, nothing to do because we didn't have, like, a separate room like yeah. we do now. <laughs> and so um, we were just freestyle every day. And then we were like, man, we should actually do a real song, but we didn't have anywhere to do uh, it. Yeah. Then we got this new room with a separate kind of mini area that we made our studio for uh, recording videos and music. And so we, that's when we did it. And so it was, it was kind of fun. And it, we got a lot of views, a lot more than I thought we did. So, As many people know, we did, a, we did a song together, a rap music video of sorts early in the year. It was a fun time, yeah. Yeah, like Brent Manny, that's my man, bro. Like, no play, that's my dude. Like, uh, he just, he can rap. He think he can rap, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna just go with it. I mean, it's awesome. I mean, it's just, it's amazing to see someone that have so much, like, enjoyment in what they do. I mean, he sits behind the computer all day. Okay, he writes, he listens to everything he does, he performs it, he redoes it. He makes little minor adjustments to it if he doesn't feel like it's not right. I mean, it's just amazing to see somebody like that devoted to their craft. I mean, I feel like, right. Do you enjoy working with Chino? Yeah, I mean, like, uh, it was kind of a group effort. And you know, everybody kind of has their own unique personality. Oh, of course I enjoyed work working with him. He's one of my best friends. Uh, there are more projects to come. It's like, it's just all good vibes, you know? You know, just a fun guy. You know, we hang out sometimes, play FIFA, go around, play some soccer outside or something like that, play some basketball. You know, he's a funny kid, you know what I mean? Just likes to have fun. Who is he outside the music? Besides the outside music? the music, young Chino Chino. Uh, <laughs> He's also a great individual, and he would do some things in life. It's just amazing to see where he's coming. Y'all in the come up. Especially the from up. ninth grade year to junior year. It's the, it's the, he just, he's taking a great leap forward. Load up, load yeah, up. It's, just, it's crazy. Load up, load up. Load up. Load up. Load up. Load up. Uh, John, Shelton, and Vinny, and Patrick. How was it like working with them? It was, was kind of hard for me to... Um, catch my voice real quick. It was pretty hard for me to uh, write down lyrics and whatnot get to the motion of the whole thing. But after a night or two, I just got into some, you know, probably hear a little taste of it right here. Anyways, though, uh, yeah, but working with them was cool. It's just like, really, we started the whole me coming in here, recording a couple songs here and there, you know, with the friends. You know, I still do songs with them, actually. Like, if I'm doing a song, I'm looking for a feature, I'm gonna hit up one of those members, like Vice, John, Scotty P, it's Benny, but he, Benny's not really a rapper, he's more like a hype man, he's like a flavor play for us, you know what I'm saying? He just came in there, did his thing, man, on that hook, real memorable, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, it was a cool, it was a cool experience, and I really had fun with the bros, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to them, Vice. Vice P, Deathbacks Apex, has an EP coming out soon if y'all want to listen to it, probably this summer, I don't know when, he's still working on some songs, and uh, shout out to Scotty P with the Genac, you know what I mean, shout out to my boy B Notes, my little brother right there, which is out here getting buckets, you know what I'm saying, I'm Kobe, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Ever since ninth grade, I really liked rapping, you know, I really got into music, like when I entered high school. Like, I really listen to a lot of artists. Like, I mean, when I say a lot of artists, I mean, I listen to a new artist, like, every week, like, all my freshman year. 
and sophomore year. I feel like this year I'm just going back into them. But I just feel like inspired by them because they're just young up and coming artists like myself. Like they just started from some point. Why can't I start from some point and be where they are? You know, they make great music. I'm trying to make great music also. You know, what inspires most of my music is usually sometimes it's a beat, sometimes it's just an idea of a song where I'm just like, this song I really want to make. Like one of my songs called Sandwiches. That was just like, it was a play on, like a, just a joke, but then it just got serious. Like, I feel like people thought I was joking about like, making a song about sandwiches. Like, I wasn't gonna do it. Like, that's really why I cut my hair, also. People didn't think I was gonna cut my hair, so I was just like, I'm gonna cut my hair just because people don't think I'm gonna cut my hair. What artists influence my sound the most? I guess it's cool. Um, I like to take after a lot of artists with a lot of different songs. But right now, um, my favorite artist is actually Andre 3000. I feel like Andre 3000, like lyrical standpoint, was one of the best artists I've probably ever heard. I like the, his rhetoric devices that he used, his whole rhyme schemes. I feel like they were just nice. Like they, we were just flowing. And Outkast was a large group influencing me, me being a large fan of Outkast. You know, also Mr. Ginsburg is one too. That's how you know we really started connecting on music. And then, and also a lot of other artists. I'm just like take pointers from them take tips from them, you know, their flows. Big Sean is also another artist I really like. My name is William Kirsch. Uh, I'm Manny's manager. I've been working with him for a while now, and uh, he's probably the most talented person in our school, probably. So. People say that he's one-take Chino, but that is false. He's not one-take Chino. He, uh, he usually takes about 20 takes. But he's great still. I mean, every take's great. It's just trying to figure out which one's the best, which which really uh, what it comes down to. And uh, he's very easy to work with because he's so funny and handsome and nice, you know, so. Well, one day um, I was walking outside, right? On the, like, on the sidewalk. And I see a car pull up. I'm like, what, who is this? And it was him. And he said, hey, I need a manager. I heard that you're good at that. I'm like, I, I've never tried it before. He's like, well, I have a sixth sense. Right. So he says that, and he says, get in the car. I'm like, uh, I don't know, I don't really think that's a good idea, but I do anyways. And so then he takes me to his studio, and we worked a little bit, and he was amazing. And I was just shocked, and so I had to manage him from there on. And it, I, I mean, I, I think that I'm doing pretty well with it, and he's very good at what he does. What's your name? Uh, my name is Zach Finnan. Um, hey. Pacino, uh, myself, along with Jack Shramsky, we are the head producers of his music. Um, right now we're working on a mixtape with him and uh, that'll be out shortly, I guess. Chino's always has something in mind. He always uh, um, is working on something, so I'm sure we will have more in the future. I always love hanging out with Manny. Really easy going guy, just easy to be around and uh, everyone loves him. Uh, Manny's great. He's uh, he always comes into the studio. He always has direction. He has a vision. He knows what he wants, and uh, never never a complaint with him. We didn't get that far, but as far as what we worked on uh, as of right now, it's pretty fun. You know what I'm saying? Manny's a really understanding dude. Me and him got the same taste as far as like picking out beats and the way our song sounds. So it's pretty it's pretty cool. How long have you known him? Well, actually, our parents told, well, my parents told me that me and him went to preschool together. But I don't remember him from preschool. So, I really met him, like, last year. I, re I remember meeting him last year. But, yeah. But, uh, yeah. I make beats, and I rap a little bit on the side. You know what I'm saying? Best uh, the producer. Best, one of the best, I feel like, anyway. You know what I'm saying? Stage name, Jabbar Storm. If you see produced by Jabbar Storm at the end of it, I made that. If you hear the National Weather Service has now issued a severe thunderstorm warning on the beat, I made that. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's his. Look out for my stuff, man. What's the inspiration behind the song Math Class? Well, you see, I mean, I think it's just because, really, Throughout the year in math class, we just had so many interesting conversations. It just it changes up from day to day, and just one day we had this idea, you know, 
we have all these interesting conversations. We do. In this we class. Do. Why don't we, we make do. a song about it? I know. Yeah. Why don't we just make a song about what we, we do in math class? Mm-hmm. Manny, Manny's in here every day making music, so, you know, yeah, why don't well. we just get in here, hop on a track real quick? Might as well do it, man. You know See, though, the fact that uh, math class requires a lot of concentration, uh, mm-hmm. basically, that just led to us uh, communicating and, uh, you know, it led to this song. Yeah. 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 Well, well. So, how do you feel about the song in general? Me personally, I love the song. I thought it's the hardest song on the mixtape. One of the hardest songs on the mixtape. Yeah, me too. Because I feel like at the beginning I come off strong. My boy Iceman with a stupid hook. I can't say the hook right now. It's going, y'all gonna hear like y'all gonna hear the song when it drops. My boy Maki had a verse that you guys don't even know. Y'all don't even like people don't understand what Maki had. Bars. They don't know about Maki. Maki got bars. It was my debut and mm-hmm. uh, I had a lot of fun. Yeah. M squared. That's his name. M squared. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Tell them why your name is M Squared, bro. See, I'm named M Squared because my name is Melchizedek and Sheikh. You M. See, I would have been Eminem, but since it's math class, I'm M Squared. M Squared. Can't do Eminem. Was already already taken. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like the thunder. It's cool. Yeah, math class. You guys' roles in the song. I was a hook. Uh, that was actually my first time hopping on one of Chino's tracks. How is it? Um, did great. How is it? I did. I did pretty good. Well, basically, I was. Uh, in one of the verses, and yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, um, I did a verse or two, you know, kind of two verses. I did one verse, like, at the beginning, and then afterwards, you know, a lot of, like, the part of the beat that I really liked, it's like the beat switched up on me. It was like some Drake-type stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, some Wu-Tang forever. Like, that's how I was, but not really, you know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't soft like that. But yeah, um... experience, uh, it was very creative, and I thought uh, it let us, you know, express mm-hmm. our thoughts on how uh, math class was. Very poetic too. Yeah, I mean, He's I feel like I listen to a lot of different uh, UK music, and basically integrating it with a lot of what they listen to. Uh, mm-hmm. They're more American based. And I just got to express and, uh, you know, just go for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Big, 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 big. So, will there be a music video? If I could find somebody who could make a music video, then uh, yeah, it's tough. Because Plus, we have to get permission from. Yeah. The teacher, because we want to do it in the class. Yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, class, of course, so. of course. I mean, he's cool with it. He's class. cool with it and all that. You know, I'm just gonna talk to him, lay some stuff down. You know what I mean? What's next for you guys? Hmm. I mean, oh, 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 oh. We have oh. wait, me or like all of us? Well, uh, personally, oh, I mean, as a group me individually. Manny, individually or as a group. Either I mean, or. either or. You know what I'm saying? Me and Manny actually right. have Let's a. Let's go uh, for the whole combined thing first. You know? Okay, yeah, combine. Okay, uh, we'll combine. We'll start. Combine. We can do a math class part two. We can do a second. We can do a remix. Okay. John want to do a remix. I see senior year. Yeah. Yes, senior year. Senior year math class. It's gonna yeah. be called AP Calculus. Calculus edition. Calculus. Math class. Math class. Calculus edition. Oh. You're taking calculus, That's aren't you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. AP. I'm taking AP calculus. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. AP calculus edition of math class. I like the idea. Yeah. I know a lot of people ask you to show us high school because, you know, been here for a good couple years, you know what I'm saying? So I accumulate a lot of friends here and there that like, listen to my music. They're really interested in my career. Kind of. I don't know if they are or not. But, you know, they support me, which is the, which I love the most about it. You know, the fact that I have friends who can support me is something that I love to do, like do music. And this really, like, drives me to do it even more than before. You know, having... All the homies, you know. How do you feel about Manny or Young Tino? He's very confident in himself, which is great. Sometimes I wish I had his confidence. You know, he sometimes overdo it a little bit. But you know what? He's pretty cool. He's very popular. Everybody knows Tino. <laughs> um, I like Manny. He's not the best, but he's pretty cool. And he's smart, I guess. Um, how do you guys feel about Young Chino or Manny? He's amazing. I've just never had, and like, I never expected him when I first met him to be in this career path. It's something I can't put into words. He's okay. He's pretty cool. Yeah. How do you Chino? I just, you know, you know when they say, "Let there be light," let there be Chino. That's what, that's all it is. I don't know. I don't know. It's not a, it's the truth. How do you feel about his music? It's, I can't imagine it. Like, from his hot sandwiches to God's juice, it's, it's really changed. He's an amazing person and an even better rapper. He's gone from just simple 
verses to these complex and really deep introspective lyrics that have changed my life. The music's creative. Yeah. Um, I like his beats, you know, it's not the typical hip hop beats that you hear, but you know Manny's not typical either, so he has it a fits very, his voice. He has a very distinct voice. All of his songs sound kind of similar, so you always know it's him. I mean, have you not got that it takes time? Like, this is dropping. Like, I mean, I got singles out there, man. I feel like it takes time for uh, perfection. You can't, you can't rush. I said rush. Rush. Can't do it. Can't rush that. Like, rap. But he did a pretty good job at it, and he's pretty cool. And funny. Funny. Do you see him having a future as a rapper or a music? I see him as a can I be honest? <laughs> Not really. I mean, I can definitely see it as a hobby for him, but you know if he does, then he'll fool me. You know, never say never, but you know, nah. <laughs> then he could go somewhere with it. He's just gotta not be repetitive, because some of the songs are kind of repetitive. Like it, people not gonna like it. You know, it's just how it is. Yeah, I do. I mean, he could also become a producer, because he's really good at that. And then you yeah. can follow Kanye West college dropout route. Believe it or not, I should get his number. Oh, I see. I know it. I know it's not. I already have it. Like, you know, manifest. That's a question. Manifest Chino. That's all I'm saying. That's a Chino. That's all. The block. The block. So, what can you tell us about Manning or Young Chino? Um, he's, uh, he's in my third period class. Uh, he sits right over there. Uh, there's really nothing much. Never. Your self-important world? Yeah. What's your name again, buddy? Uh, it's Chino. Is it Vinny? Manny? It's uh, anything Chino. you want to know. Actually, Young Chino. Chino Hancho. Young Chino. Like little, that means like little Chino. Like, no, it's just young as in I'm upcoming. Like baby. Like your kid. Like I'm coming up. Like I'm growing. <laughs> you're growing, but you ain't yeah. grown. I'm about, I'm almost there, you know. Birthday just came and went. What's your name again? <laughs> Do I teach you? Do I teach you? Much remarkable I can say about him. He's, he's, he sits right over there. So have you heard any of his music? Uh, yeah, I have actually. I, uh, uh, I first heard his uh, group uh, Christmas release. Uh, uh, what was it called again? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess it. I guess it's not really. Yeah, the Christmas special. I, it wasn't that memorable. I uh, uh, had it um, uh, emailed to me, and uh, my family and I listened to it for a second. But uh, something more important came along. Uh, I also have uh, heard. Uh, I believe it's uh, "Hold Up, Asian Girl." Uh, yeah, we. Uh, I listened to that with a student of mine, uh, Gracia. Uh, she was uh, really offended and um, let him know that. So um, um, we didn't really get through all of that. And then there is, um, uh, I believe it was, uh, as he would say, like hot sandwiches. Hot. And uh, I listened to that one and actually uh, I, I really did enjoy that one because I like sandwiches. Um, do you see him having a career in music or going far? I mean, I really, I really do. I, I, like I said, I, I liked that particular piece a lot, and it made me realize that he um, he really appreciates um, if you listen to his lyrics and that, and uh, all the detail. I really think he has what it takes to um, really be a special subway artist one day. I think uh, uh, you know, I, I, I look forward to a, a good foot long, uh, you know, with uh, him behind the counter. I'm not sure. I'll probably have to stand up a little taller to see him down there, but um, uh, I really think he could probably make some good sandwiches and, uh, I don't know, maybe even be a manager one day. I mean, he's, he's, he is charismatic and uh, occasionally lovable, so uh, I believe he could probably handle a line of, like, two Subway sandwich artists next to him and make sure they, they stay on track and uh, just really quality check the, the, the sandwiches, make sure they're nice and hot. If you
you would uh, like 13, 14 year olds, you, you need to go see Dr. Bowling, all right? I, I'm gonna have to ask that you not come up into the big kids school again, okay? Freshman Academy, see the sign? Thanks. to go by this week uh, when he was in ninth grade in my English class you know he's about this tall um, maybe a little shorter and um, you know he's a nice kid good student got his act together later in the year but I got really mad at him one day on a field trip um, I took the students to see a play performance of To Kill a Mockingbird at the Rose of Athens Theater I couldn't have anticipated uh, Vincent's um, uh, sense of humor popping up, you know, at this uh, at this performance. But as the play got done, you know, the actors came out into the crowd, and uh, the producer or someone comes out and says, "Okay, like now we'll be taking questions from the audience." And you know, a, a group of like three or four hundred high school students, none of them are raising their hand to be the first one to to ask a question. All of a sudden, Vincent's hand goes up. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm thinking. Confidence. I'm thinking in my mind. Okay, cool. Like th this is going to be great. Um, you know, he's a smart guy. He'll ask a good question. So he raises <laughs> his hand, and they call on him, and he's laughing. And uh, so, what did you ask? Do you remember what you asked? Will there be food after this? He he prefaces <laughs> the question by saying something like. Um, yes, now that the performance is over, um, will there be any food being served? And as my heart sank in embarrassment, his classmates looked immediately at me for my response, and the disappointment was evident on my face, and he sat there in all of his uh, glory in his attempt at humor, cackling to himself, still acting as if it was a genuine question as to if any food would be served. And if I remember right, didn't somebody come down and scold you and tell you how rude you were? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so I then made a decision that I was going to make Vincent really think he was in deep, deep trouble for this ridiculous act that was pretty harmless but maybe a little bit rude and... Uh, I acted like, you know, he was going to ISS and that terrible consequences would ensue. Stomach, killed my stomach. <laughs> and apparently he then skipped lunch that day. He was so nervous that he could not eat. I'm thanking myself for volunteering for this project. <laughs> um, it took me a lot to get through it. I want to thank my personal uh, monologue that I do every night. Uh, thank you that I uh, stayed sane for this project. Um, I want to thank myself for giving to others all the things that I've done for others, all the interviews and whatnot, talking to people, you know, all of the human interactions that I did today, <laughs> you know how tough that is. <laughs> but, you know, um, but on a real note, I just want to thank everybody who uh, who came out, supported, you know, did a couple of interviews. Just want to thank everybody because, you know, I was kind of upset a little bit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. If you don't, like, if you don't do what's directed on you, then you ain't in the director's cut. You ain't in nothing. You ain't in nothing. You just, who are you? You in the background. They, they, ain't, even, they ain't even in the director's cut. They just they the cut. cut. They, they just cut. cut. And people was just like, yeah, I got you, I got you. But, you know, at the end of the day, I actually did it. You know what I'm saying? That's what I really love about it. I mean, yeah, it was a cool project. You know what I'm saying? Um... I just want to thank everybody, thank all the people, thank uh, Dr. Price for letting this documentary even come out, Mr. Ginsburg for giving us this time, and journalism to do this project, um, thank all my fans, you know what I'm saying, if I have any still uh, about the documentary, um, also thank my moms for having me, thank my, thank my dad too, because he had something to do with it, uh, thank my grandma for wait, raising me over those summers. Uh, and again, thank myself because, as a as a person that I am, so self giving, so so my self reliant. Like, I don't know how I do it. You know what I'm saying? I, I just live to entertain myself. <laughs> Others laugh also, but it's you know, 
it just adds on. It just adds on to the humor because people don't understand that I'm kind of self-centered. But you know, I mean, at the end of the day, I feel as if <laughs> being self-centered is not a bad thing. Okay, being self-centered actually, at the stage in my life, which I'm trying to discover myself. You know what I'm saying? I have to put myself on a pedestal. What's this gotta do about you thinking people? You're talking about yourself now. You're supposed to. Be- I'm sorry, I got out of hand. Yeah, um, you did. That's what I'm in. Like, oh well, yeah. Um, I'm a cool dude. Uh, my hobbies are soccer, painting, drawing. You know what I'm saying? Rapping is a hobby, pastime. Um, what else do I do? I make um, I make movies. You know, I got a couple movies okay, coming cut, out. Cut, cut, <laughs> just cut, 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 cut. Grace, let me see your face. Come on, talking about my, my family in the movie too. You feel me? You know the bros. You know, all right. You know what I'm saying? See, why, why you think about them? They ain't even worried about they ain't you. Worried like, about me? Dude up front, I'd be like, dude, you can't, bro. You know what I'm saying? You might be paying for it. I'm just saying. See, that's why you don't never learn nothing because you can't listen. Senor Chino. You know. Chino, mini me. Chino from the NIV. I see myself as more of a Kobe and Shaquille, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, I'm slick Kobe and Shaquille. I mean, I, you still gotta have these little questions. Why is this not a crime? Okay. <laughs> 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 Anyways, though, let's do this. Right, you seriously look like Caillou right now, I swear to God. No, I'm about to be great. I'm gonna be great. I'm gonna be great. Okay. I'm about to be Y'all wash my cars. I spit these bars. Mm. I'm going far. Mm. Y'all from Mars. Mm. I see the stars. Mm-hmm. 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 Cut them, cut them, cut them. That's how y'all get. Welcome, I'm Deronda, and today I'm going to show you how to make this classic double decker club sandwich. And to do this, I've got three slices of bread here that I have toasted. Um, we've got mayonnaise. This is just a turkey slices. I've got about six thin turkey slices. I have fresh lettuce, I'm going to slice tomatoes, and I have bacon here. All right, now to get this sandwich assembled, all you want to do is add... Sandwiches, 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 turkey and bread, kind of misses on my canvas about to spread. What type of bread, whole wheat or white? I'ma go a week cause white isn't my type, but if you're a girl, you can fool my world. I'm in the world full of sandwiches. How do I manage it? That's what they ask me. I'm about to pop up on the scene like acne. Or you can do collecting clothes like Daphne. I'm scooping and shaggy up in that kitchen. What am I fixing? I think. What am I fixing? Is that a question? What am I fixing? Is that a question? But hold up, I think this is a hot one. Hold up, I think this is a hot one. Turkey bologna BLT. I don't know which one should I choose. I amuse others with my reviews. I refuse to only pursue in one. I made five. I'm not even done. Ah! Ah! Mm. Now that is one classic club sandwich. Mm. Hope y'all give this a try. Thanks for watching. I'm Dorana with Foods 101. And I'll catch you next time.